What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Esther, and you're welcome back to another reaction video. So, I'm having a guest here, and he is Limad. Limad. So, today we'll be reacting to Dr. Zaik again. Was the Quran copied from the Bible? Was the Quran copied from the Bible? Without further ado, let's dive into the into video. The video there may be many human beings who may not be knowing or having a knowledge of the Quran or the Bible. So how can we decipher which of the two is right? Or mm. who has copied from whom? The best test is the test of science. If we put these two scriptures to the test of science, we will know the difference of chalk and cheese. When we read superficially, we come to know that the Bible and the Quran is the same. But if we do a research or we analyze it, we come to know that the difference of chalk and cheese. When we read the Bible, it's mentioned in the first book of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter number one, that Almighty God, he created the heavens and the earth in six days. And these six days are 24 hours days, mentioned in the Bible. The Quran, too, speaks about the creation of the universe and says, Almighty God has created the heavens and the earth in six ayams. Ayam is plural of yom. One of the meaning of yom is a 24-hour day, but the other Arabic meaning of yom is a long period, an epoch. Today, scientists, they say that our universe was created in billions of years. So to say it was created in six 24-hour days is wrong. But the scientists have got no objection with the Quran when the Quran says the heavens and the earth were created in six ayams. That is, six long periods without defining them to be strict 24 hours. Furthermore, it's mentioned in the Bible, in the first book, book of Genesis, chapter number one, verse number three to five, that Almighty God, He created the day and the night on the first day. And He created the light on the first day. It later says in Genesis chapter number one, verse 14 to 19, the source of light, that is, the stars and the sun, they were created on the fourth day. Imagine, the effect is created on the first day and the cause of the effect on the fourth day. The sun was created and the stars on the fourth day and the light from the sun and the star was created on the first day. It's illogical. How can the effect come before the source? Quran 2 speaks about the creation of the heavens and the earth but does not give this unscientific sequence. Furthermore, mentioned in the first book of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter number one, verse number 9 to 13, that the earth was created on the third day. And Genesis chapter number one, verse number 14 to 19, that the sun and the moon was created on the fourth day. We know from science that the earth and the moon are the part of the parent body that is the sun. So to say that the earth was created before the parent body, the sun, is unscientific. The Quran too speaks about creation of the heavens, the sun, the moon, and the earth, but it says it was created simultaneously. Imagine Prophet Muhammad copied from the Bible and he changed the sequence. He says, no, both were created together. Bible further says in the book of Genesis, chapter number one, verse number nine to 13, that Almighty God created the vegetables and the vegetations on the third day. And Genesis chapter number one, Verse 14 to 19, he created the sun on the fourth day. Scientifically, it's not possible that the vegetation can survive without sunlight. It's totally unscientific. Furthermore, the Bible says in Genesis chapter number one, verse number 16, that Almighty God created two great lights. The greater light, the sun, to rule the day, and the lesser light, the moon, to rule the night. The Bible says the light of the sun as well as the light of the moon is its own light. The Bible says the light of the moon has its own light. But the Quran says in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 61, the light of the moon is not its own light, it's a reflected light. So imagine the prophet copied from the Bible and he made corrections. Not the own light, it is a reflected light. It's not humanly possible. Only one who has this knowledge is Almighty God.
There are several examples we can give a talk only on this. And I had a debate with Dr. William Campbell on the topic, the Quran and the Bible in the light of science. And there, I've mentioned many unscientific points mentioned in the Bible. Time does not permit me to go into details. The various unscientific things mentioned in the Bible, which is not mentioned in the Quran. For example, according to the Bible, Adam, peace be upon him. He came into existence about 5,800 years before. Science tells us that the human beings came into existence millions of years before. The Quran too speaks about Adam and Salam, but does not give a date. The Bible says in Genesis, chapter number 6, 7, as well as 8, about Noah and the flood. And it says that the full world was submerged under water. At the time of Noah, that is approximately 21st, 22nd century BC. Quran too speaks about Noah Salam, but it does not give it a date. It even speaks about the flood, but it says it was a localized flood, only it flooded the Ummah, the people of Noah Salam, not the full world. Today, archaeological evidence shows us that the 11th dynasty of Egypt, as well as the 3rd dynasty of Babylon, they existed without interruption since the 21st, 22nd century BC. So archaeological evidence says that what is mentioned in the Bible is totally wrong. There are various examples, we can give hundreds, time does not permit. So surely, this Quran has not been copied from the Bible. Neither has been forged. As mentioned in the Quran in Surah Sajda, chapter number 32, verse number 1 and 2, it says that, do they say he forged it? Nay, it is the truth from the Lord. So that he may give admonition to the people to whom no warner has come in the past. So surely, we can undoubtedly say that neither Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon the author of the Quran, neither did he copy or plagiarize or learn it from any other source. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a beautiful uh, video. Yes, but I would like to say something before I would allow him to say some things. I can agree with is he said a yan. It was explained about a yan. It's not like I, I agree, but I understand what he's saying. Because we, we do say that a minute in the sight of God is like years in the sight of humans. And so if if he could say that God, if um, in Genesis says God creates everyone and in the first day. So humanly, we cannot say it's just our normal day. No. Because God is timeless. You can't, you, you cannot um, say that our time is God's time. Well, there are some things that um, personally, personally, I see that is very wrong in this video. Firstly, you don't, you don't use what is created to question who created that thing. Like you are using science. Who created science in the first place was God. How can you use what God creates to to um to question um how am I need to put this how can you use what was created to to question who created those things in the first place how can you say um the vegetations can be created it can survive through um the sun who told you all those things in the first place who gave the knowledge that okay the, the vegetables need photosynthesis who gave the knowledge in the first place was it not god so another thing is you cannot use science to question God. It's very, very wrong. God is omniscient. He's, he's God. He, like he said, he knows how to explain that. Maybe there are a better explanation of that because looking at the Bible, looking at the Quran, none of it was written by God in himself. It has what? Men interference. So if you said Muhammad wrote all those things, there might be many interference in it. If someone has written, um, someone wrote the Bible by God's inspiration, there might be many interference in it. So only God can actually decide that. But copying and copying, I don't have a say about that. I don't have vowels or let me say documents to actually stand, to make a stand or to make a placement on my, on my position. 
So I'll just allow him to talk about that. Well, uh, guys, well, let, let me quickly explain some things here. Yeah. Okay. You see, uh, the Bible as you know it now, one of the reasons why it's actually the word of God, one of the reasons is the Bible was written over uh, like 1,005 years. That was the first thing. It's not that it's written in a year. Yes. It's written like over 1,005 years at least. And it's written by different people in different places, in different culture, in Occasion. different time, yes. in different locations. And one of the powerful things, despite the fact that they wrote it across different time, uh, by different people, by even some are not educated, the yes. story was still the same. It tells the story from the beginning to the end. Despite the fact that the authors didn't meet together, that oh, let's create a story and say that okay, this prophecy is about Jesus. Jesus is coming. He will come so so year. He will come and rescue. Blah blah blah. There was no meeting like that among the writers of the scriptures. And when you now combine them together to what we have as a scripture, you now see that from the beginning, Genesis to the Revelation, is telling the same story. That was one of the validity of the scripture because the people didn't met, they prophesied, they never prophesied in his own time in another century. Isaiah, this, Jeremiah. In another this, century, this, another this, culture, in another I mean, land. In another, another time. Moses another knew, time. Another it. time. And they have those documents. They were putting it down for future generations. And all is one. It's and the same one thing. when it was now combined together, together, you now see that the story was the same. It was accurate. Like... The prophecy aligns the lessons from the king, the words of David, to the prophet, to the Psalms. They were saying written by different, different set of people. Different set of people. And it makes sense across time, across cultures, across different centuries. The sense But it was is the later same. on that the, the Quran came written by just one person. And when the last Bible was uh, written, it was six hundred years after. After, let's say the last Bible was written, maybe AD one fifty, AD one sixty. The Quran was written six hundred years later. Six hundred years later. Later, later. That was when the Quran was written. And was written by a single person. Just one person. That I say he got a revelation. From God. From God. And he wrote the Quran when he was uh, 40 years old. That was when he received the first revelation from God. That one, I, I don't even have a problem. Or arguing about that. With that. that okay, anybody can, can write it. revelation from God. Mm -hmm. You can receive revelation from God. All those things. But my point is, the first thing that Christian scholars do talk about is the fact that the Bible was written across different centuries by different people that never met. And when it was now combined together in modern time, you now see that the story of God Christ was, was stable and stable was worn. Was accurate. You can find that story. That's why the fact that the people that wrote it never met. Never met. It was not written by just one person. It was not written by one person. That is the first point. Now I'm coming to uh, using science to the, coming to what Doctor was saying mm -hmm. about uh, the account of creation. Let me tell you this, guys. I know you guys, all, all, of course, you are educated. One thing about the account of creation is this. Go and check all cultures, all uh, ethnic groups, all nations. Each of them 
always have their own account of creation. Go and check it. Any culture, go to India, they will tell you how creation was done. Go to Egypt, they will tell you how creation was done. Go to Americans, the original America, they will tell you how each culture has creation story. It's yeah. true. Go it's and true. check it. It's Just like in, in, in Nigeria now, we have different cultures. Yeah, in different Yoruba, culture. they will tell you how creation was. How done. creation it's was, true. how the gods created you in Africa, beings, all those Africa. things. Mm -hmm. You have creation story. Valid. Which is valid. Regardless, it, oh. it doesn't need to be the word of God to make it true. Mm. Because every culture has their own creation story. Go and ask anybody. Perfect. Every culture, they have story. So the one that is talking about Aeons, that Aeons is a town by the Gnostics. It's not even a... Uh, it's a by local town. Yeah, it's a... Time used by the Gnostics who, who, are, who advance other teachings apart from Christianity. And of course, I that was why I said I don't have a problem with anything the doctor said because in the broader scope of things, it doesn't really matter. And I will tell you the reason. You see, like what I mentioned, every culture, every nation has their own creation story. They have their own meat. They have their own God that came to help to save people. They have all those stories there. So when you are now coming to the Bible, you are saying you want to even do a lecture on the scientific evidence of the Quran and the Bible, it doesn't, I'm telling you guys, it doesn't change anything. It won't. <laughs> it, it doesn't, the story is a first. So let me come back to the point they mentioned talking about the creation, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, talking about the great light. And uh, when Christian scholar, they are, like what I mentioned in some of the video, we have Christian scholars that specialize in Old Testament alone. They are, they are called Old Testament professors. I mean, one of them is Dr. Mike uh, Eisen. You can go and check some of his uh, books. He's an Old Testament scholar. And one of his books was uh, The Two Power in the Sky or The Unseen Rain. I mean, you can go and check those materials if you want to learn more. And talking about the creation story, I think uh, Dr. William Craig uh, did the lecture. I mean, he has a Defender series which you can check. The creation story, this can be explained through different perspectives. That's the first thing. And I'm sure even Dr. Zaik himself knows this. He knows. It's just that uh, because he wants to make a point. That is why he's saying everything he's saying. The creation story can be interpreted through different lens. Many scholars, of course, they are debate on this. Many scholars have said that oh, the creation story you may not need to interpret it literally, like the way it was written. That's the way it will be interpreted. No, it do, it doesn't need to be interpreted literally. Some advocated for literary uh, inter interpretation. Some said that okay, that chapter one itself is a mystical uh, chapter that talks about the growth of life and which that one actually resonated with me because if you look at Genesis chapter 1, actually, it's an account of life. It's showing how life is developed. You have the, veggie, um, the vegetable Vegetables. life, you have the animal life, you have the human life, you have the universe life. He's talking about account of life, how life grew, how life was developed. You develop from the general uh, universe, universal life universe, and you, that's why you see some, some naturalism. I am sure some naturalists they said that the universe has a consciousness of its own. That is how they see the universe. The universe has a consciousness, and I think that is even more pronounced in uh, Asian religion, like the Hinduism, the Buddhism, where 
you try to connect with the universal consciousness, consciousness when yeah. you are doing your meditation, maybe yoga, med meditation, any of those things. So this chapter one that doctor is talking about can be interpreted through different lens. You can interpret it from a, li uh, a literary perspective, a mystical perspective, and from a uh, a life perspective, the organic growth of life over time. So what the what he's trying to do to discredit that chapter is by taking the literary perspective that okay, are you uh, the sun and this is not that blah 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 blah. Uh, the moon reflects the sun blah blah blah. Okay, let me ask you this chapter now. Are there no other planets that were created? And there were not other planets. It wasn't stated that, oh, other planets, we have all these planets created. It wasn't clearly stated. If he's going to take a literary perspective, then talking about uh, the vegetation, that the water usually comes from the ground. It's not really based on science, according to him. That one, is it not possible? It's a possibility because you are not there. You are not there. Why? You are not there. What was that? How it happened? And guys, let me leave you with a final thought. Like why I say this doesn't matter, and I will tell you the reason. The reason why it doesn't matter is that Jesus came, He died, He resurrected. The only thing I need to get to heaven is to believe that Jesus came, He died, He resurrected, and I have His life. That he has given me the gift of salvation. If I believe him, it doesn't matter if I believe the account of creation or I don't believe it, I will get to the paradise. So in the broader scope of things, what takes you to heaven is, is Christ. It's not creation. It's, 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 not, it's not that creation story. It's Christ that takes you to heaven. So that is the point. So that's why I said, I don't know the point from which he is arguing. I don't know what he wants to derive. Um, let me now okay, come what I to, think to is to that the fact that okay. he said the Quran was not copied from the scripture. The, I think that's that the point. Is, that is totally not true. And I will tell you the reason. I don't want to talk, if you've noticed, I don't usually talk about other people only book. I don't need to talk about it. It doesn't matter. But let me say this. Because he is saying what he's saying. That the Quran is not copied, it's not true. This uh the prophet, peace be upon him, Muhammad, was 40 years old when he received the first revelation. Will you tell me that he doesn't know anything about the Bible from age one to forty? No. Don't don't forget, he, he is also from the Middle East and both Islam. Christianity, Judaism, they are Middle East religion. They are Abraham, uh, Abraham, uh, Abrahamic religion, yes. which developed from the Middle East. So you can't tell me that the prophet doesn't know anything about Christianity, he doesn't know anything about Torah, he doesn't know anything about uh, the gospel. It's not true. He's a 40-year-old man the interact with people and i think one of the video i saw that they say he didn't lie in his dealing with people when to the age of 40 is a pure man well i don't know if there is anyone that is pure if there is anyone that is good though the, the only good person is god and when you say that it's not true it's not true so if you look at the quran and the scripture there are at least 50 people that were in the scripture that were mentioned in the Quran. You have Adam himself, you have Eve, you have Abraham, you have Noah, you have Isaac, Moses, you have Isaac, you have Joseph. I mean, you have all the key figures in the testament repeated in the Quran. You said it's not copied. I don't know where it got those stories from. 
if it is because he's single-handedly wrote all this uh -huh, so maybe it's, it's not like some people has written parts uh -huh, and now maybe combined this he's the only one that announced uh, maybe it's not the one that came with the name it uh, he's the one that came with the name joseph <laughs> he's the one that came up with the name uh moses it's not a middle east he's a middle east story guys don't let anybody deceive he's a middle east name these are their own local story, their own cultural story. And the prophet who is from the Middle East, these are things they all know there. Is there the story of Moses, Joseph, uh, children of Israel, uh, Abraham. I mean, it's there, guys. So the only thing in the Quran is that they try to cut it, streamline it, and just say it's the word of God. And if you look at the Bible, I think this is what it is. You know, in the Bible, if you look at some testament, you have the words of Jesus that are only in red. There is a Bible that do write the words of Jesus in red. So it's just like me telling you that, okay, I'm just going to copy the word of Jesus out in red and now produce Please another Bible that. and say that. This, this is, is the, the word, word of, of God. God. Because it only contains the words of Jesus. Guys, 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 this is, I don't know. That's why I say I don't talk about, I don't need to talk about it. But this is the truth, guys. This is a Middle East story, guys. They all know about Moses, Abraham, Adam, all those names. They know them. And it's both in those books. So if a book was written, Six hundred years later, and you said I didn't consult any material, I didn't copy. Oh, you are not truthful. You are not truthful. This is a Middle East man. That's why you said that the prophet was a man forty years old before he became a prophet. And you tell me that he didn't know any of this story. He just he received a, all. Oh no no no, guys guys guys, <laughs> please please please. The only thing I do say is this, guys. In the broader scope of things, it doesn't really matter for me to believe the creation. No, no, no. I believe Christ. I believe what he believed. And that is enough for me to get to heaven or paradise, anywhere Christ oh, is. is. That yeah. is where I will be. So I don't, if it is heaven that Christ, I will be there. If it is paradise, I. I those things doesn't really matter. My is I believe Christ. I know he said where he is, there will I be also. So guy, we don't need to argue on these things. These are Middle East matters. They are Middle East story, Judaism, uh Islam, Christianity, they are Abrahamic religion from Middle East and you can't deny the fact that these stories are there and, and he knows the stories. He knows them very well. He knows them very well. So, guys, uh, another thing I will also want to mention is this. When we talk about science, of course, like what she said, science uh, is where well, science can be true, where you can use it to prove the existence of God. But in matters like this, you can yeah, it's like you are doing a backward integration. No, you are doing a backward integration. You are studying from the effect back to, the, to the cause. But no story, when it doesn't make sense, just leave it. God knows what he did. The person that wrote it knows what he saw. So, guys, thank you for, for watching. Please be open minded. Like what I said, this is a dialogue. We are not, like what I said, we don't need to talk about any of those things. But these are things that are looking at us in the face. Because it's clear. It's Middle East. It's logical. It's logical. It's not something mystical. It's not something spiritual. If a, 40, a person is 40 years old before he receives revelation, and he said that he doesn't know about stories. <laughs> In their own nation. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It doesn't align. Guys, doesn't align. guys, seriously, I really enjoy this discussion. Uh, yeah. Seriously, I really I really do. What about you? See, this is not, it's, it's something logical. 
we are reasoning it out like with an open mind yeah. you just open your mind if you didn't get all the points at a go, just rewatch it and meditate on it. And you know, sometimes, even most times, you might not understand that thing at once. So you need to just revisit it. You can rewatch twice. It's something logical you can think about. You can also research outside seriously. Whenever I say something, I will also want you to go out to you know check some internet. Thank God the internet is there. Type it there and you will see a lot. There are different stories of creation, like they are saying. In fact, I, I didn't even remember that. Even in Africa, they have their own different creation story there and um, thereby. So this is a brown Abrahamic um creation story, which everyone originated from that can actually see. Like he said, it doesn't matter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, if you yeah. want any video you like us to react to, drop that at the comment section. I will see you in our next video. Signing out. Bye, guys. Ciao.